Audio.com. Today I'm going to show you how to apply effects to groups and sounds using the machine hardware controller. Okay, to begin with, I've created a, a short pattern with the kit and I'm going to show you how to load, apply some effects to the whole group, the whole kit. So, let's begin. So, to begin with, we select group. So, by default, the screen you'll see, there's three tabs. It says master, group, and sound. And, well, you can go to master and adjust the overall um, effects. Or, you want to go to group. You want to just adjust the groups, group effects, or individual sounds. Let's say you want to add reverb to snare or something. Well, then we go to sound. But I'll start with, let's, let's work our way down. So we'll start with master. Now, you can cycle through the different modules using, uh, make sure that the first option is selected. Right now it says no module. And use, use a knob here to switch between them. So there's four modules total. So we're gonna start with the first one. Now, to access the modules, simply hold shift and then press browse okay so now we're in the filter list and we're gonna go to internal make sure it's set to internal those are the internal effects and then click F2 to go in the list tab so these are all the effects that we have and cycle through them as before using the knob okay so I'm feeling some, let's see, let's get some reverb, metaverb in there. All right, that sounds awful, but gives you, so, and then to, de to get rid of it, simply go to the top and click none. So let's get some compressor. Um, it didn't do anything. Okay. But anyways, so let's say EQ. That's a good one actually filter okay so once you have the effects for the whole the whole uh, machine then you can go in here and just exit the module by pressing browse again and now we can adjust the different types so under here you can adjust if you want high pass Band pass, or low pass, or notch. So you can switch the type. Okay. So let's go back and get rid of that. Oops. Make sure it's clicked. Okay. We're going to set it to none. Okay. So it's back to normal. So let's go back and select group. And. Same thing applies here. Select the module that you want. Um, there's already one here called limiter. Um, select the module and then shift modules. Um, select the type internal and then pick what you would like. Um, maybe chorus or something. Or beat delay. That's kind of cool. All right. Okay. Let's say you want just to, s to select a single sound and make a changes to that and have effects applied to that. Um, well, once again, exit module, go to sound tab, select the module you want, an empty module, number two, go back to modules, then go filter, make sure it's internal and select um, what you want. Now, before we go on, make sure that the select button, that the uh, right sound is selected by holding select button and clicking on the sound that you want to modify. Um, let's do the snare. So I just clicked on the snare, okay? And we're gonna add, well, let's try some reverb on there. Or, You hear it. Um, just 
distortion. There, you can hear that. All right, so you can adjust. Um, you can add effects to different sounds just by selecting which one you want. And then going here. And I'm going to click filter. And exit. And I want high pass. So you notice that the bass drum is almost non-existent because I'm cutting out all the low frequencies and then low pass, right? So that's how to load and apply effects to the master, the groups, and the sounds.